Hey everyone, on this video, I'm going to show you how we can use a checkbox on React applications and how the checkbox can checkbox can bind with the state. So let's begin. So I do have uh, the React applications here. Uh, I created it, this React application using a CLI. So React application using a CLI. Uh, so you guys can also can create uh, using not this guy, but here. Yeah, using this create, create React app. So I create this here. And basically on this app, what I did is on app.js, I created a route and route has some kind of header and it has these two route. That's all it does. So basically it, when it's home page, then it goes to the student app. And when it's add, then it goes to the add. So when I click on add, this is my add page. And when I go in student, this is my whole home home page or our or index so let's go with the student applications so in the student here i do have a student here so student has basically this uh, uh component here it's a functional component and i'm using a hook so here is a use effect uh, which is the uh, use does the uh, similar like a uh, component did mount or will mount similar like a life cycle for this component so when this component will load at first time it will load this guy so here basically i just put some of the array and this array which goes to on this state and this state is basically doing nothing is just looping the the table that's all it does so uh, what we do now is we will add a checkbox here so input type uh, check box so we do have checkbox here so what we want to do is when you go in uh, the react component here and I'm a student so now I have only this uh, three state so on this three uh, sorry three object here on the first we have only the property first name last name and major so what we're gonna add is we're gonna add one more property here and checkbox and this checkbox will uh, uh, re reflect uh, with the state what we have here so that's what we're gonna do to so to do that we have a student here we can literally uh, write it here but let's assume we get this from the API, uh, something from Axios. So when we get this that data from API, uh, we will. What we do is on student state, on map, we're gonna map the uh, the, the data, and we're gonna return the all the data. And the property we're going to return the first is select, and the the select is going to be a false as normally, and we'll return the first name, last name, and we'll return the major. okay so now we have a new student uh, here on this map so I could put this in variable but uh, I'll just directly put it right here so when I put it on this set student uh, I will get another here select uh, it's a checkbox uh, it's a boolean value right we will get the boolean value now we need to bind this boolean value with this checkbox we will also loop other checkbox here on the bottom so this is a main checkout checkbox when we click then you should select everything and when we deselect it it's going it's not going to select anything that's what we're going to build so to do that let's loop let's uh, instead of the here is going to be id with which we don't have it now so what we're going to do here we're going to loop here the select to see what's what's going on so we will not see anything now because this is a false value here so instead of this uh, I will put here 
the input type checkbox all right checkbox now we will see the all the checkbox but we can check on check but it will not reflect our state what we do here but we want to we want to change the state as well based on the data where we have here so to do that on this guy on checked uh, will pass the the value here so now this is uh, uh, false that's why we we have the uh, we don't have this box checked but it's giving an error here is we should use our on change event to change this so when we click this guy this guy it doesn't even work this guy work but this guy doesn't even work when I when I press the button so on this here uh, we will put the on change and on change basically it's uh, we will just set the we will just set the the event uh, here from here so we will get the value from the event and this is this is it will tell us that it checked or not so it's we will get from event dot target dot checked checked on this guy we will know uh, what's cooking there I mean it's true or false and when we know it's true and false now we need to set with our state and this is the function where we set this and we will do a set state but and here it takes the object now uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna loop this uh, student state first and uh, when this loop is done then uh, we will get the value uh, but on this one the first we wanna find uh, which ID we, we 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 are in so I miss one thing here is on this data I also need to put send the ID uh, I apologize for that uh, so without ID it's very difficult to find out okay once we have the ID here now uh, get back to here so now we need to check the each of these checkbox has the uh, event and on this event we will have to know which event we just uh, click it and to do that we will get the data from instead of here we just write the uh, data here so here D is coming from this uh, the big uh, loop here so on this D we will get the ID and on the small data we will get the data and we we'll still get the ID if this data the data the D dot ID and data dot ID it's been matched then on data dot ID not ID select we will do uh, true we will do true and we will return the data so oh spelling wrong true and we will return the data now oh uh, it, it gave me this error because uh, I didn't put here uh, key dot ID D dot ID and you should do a job but it uh, but this is not that error so let's see so now when I check then it checked everything so let's do this still it doesn't even work uh, so data dot ID and we'll get a D dot D dot ID if it's equal to 2 then data dot select is true and we will return this data oh, oh we don't have to return here um, oh this is not it should be checked here this guy okay now okay now it works but it select everything but instead of that we just need to select our uh, only one all right only one so to do that uh, let's see here so data.id 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 and d.id has been checked and 
oh because i didn't pass here the id that was the issue the issue is on the top because i didn't pass the id id is important too now if i select this so it will you can check and unselect same with this same with this and this will not work but we need to make this work as well so let's go to the component first and let's check this guy's state what's cooking on the state so it's checked so if i unchecked then this will unchecked same with this so select the checkbox is bind with our state but we want to make this as uh, select as well if this select then everything is select and if it's not then it will not select everything so to do that we need to go on that event and that event was in my header here the checkbox so on this one i'll put on change it's pretty simple now here so on change we will uh get the e dot we will get the the it's checked or not was the value so we get this now and if and oh yeah set student state and set student state as uh, uh, and student state we go map now we will make everything true and false uh, based on based on the data based on the boolean we will receive from the check so it's pretty simple so what we do here is we'll just do d dot select on this select we will do is checked and we'll return d so that's all so now if i check it's checked everything if i uncheck it's unselect everything if i check single then yeah you can select as you can see here it's been checked so it's all binding with the state so this is all for this uh twitter quick tutorial and i hope you guys like it and please do not forget to like and subscribe thank you very much